Uh, hello again. So I can bother you again at such short notice, but I just wanted to give you one, uh, one more uh, very quick update. As I made a whole bunch of progress all at once, and uh, I figure I might as well just get it uh, recorded now before going on. <clears throat> as far as this getting the client area the right size, I struggled and struggled and struggled with all those flags, styles, and everything. And I think it's probably impossible to do it that way anyway. Uh, and then I realized that uh, that <laughs> it's it, it, it's totally trivial. Right? There's nothing to it. All, all you got to do is uh, make make this the window size first, right? And find out how how big the client size is, and then resize the window accordingly to get it to the right size. Okay. Uh, here I'm tracing it out. First, I created using the client size as screen size. Then I get the client rack, I get the screen rack, take the difference, expand the screen rack by the difference, uh, recalculate the center position, and um, and then uh, re reposition the window. And then that's it. It always comes out uh, 640 by 480. Okay. Uh, and now is this movable? No. Let's see now. I'll get one that's uh, movable. Oh, what do they like to uh, favorite of not this? This is definitely a border and stuff. <clears throat> um, yeah, so you see, I'm printing out the client rec here. Still doing this thing. And uh, also, you'll notice that uh, the drawing is fitting in always with the window. And that's another trick I learned. And I learned <coughs> these various tricks by looking at that device context. All those device context functions, which now has become a class called uh, device context, which hides away all the little bits of complexity that we don't want to deal with. So our WM paint now looks quite simple. First we get the device context from the HWIN and we say begin paint. Check it's valid. We select our various objects. Now these are still handles, but <laughs> you can kind of guess where it's going to go, right? It won't be a handle to a cursor, it'll be a cursor. Um, then uh, I uh, you know, I've added these get cursor pause and get client rec functions and get rec functions. Um, get cursor pause pause can be either client or screen boolean hidden boolean there. Draw out the little text. Move the Point the point to the left hand corner there, uh, taken from the client ray, and draw out the current client ray using the using our double arrow feature. And that's it. That's the whole thing. There's no, no more code in here. You know, the code is gone gone to zero. Uh, see so, you now that's WinProf window. You know that's that's what you gotta do. Uh, these structs. This one I might I might I might just toss that one away. It's of little use. It's only good for this default constructing. Uh, this of course will 
will make monk use of. <coughs> this is the thing which just takes it, you know, a handle to window and gives you the device contact back from which you can select objects in and do whatever you want with it. The window class itself um, has a bunch of more little functions, get rec, apply rec. Uh, now I don't I don't need these functions anymore, it turns out. Because it, now I've got that uh, uh, DC object. These are useless. This is still some use. You'll you'll notice that the, there's no member DC to this window thing, and I don't think there should be. The device context is a thing that. Uh, is a, 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 an object in its own right and it can be extracted from a window right? so you wouldn't say that a window contains a, a device context object in it it has a device context and this object is a way to access a device context for a given window, any window, you know, and most windows are made up of little sub windows buttons and various things, and you wouldn't want them to all have one of these objects. You can just grab one or the other and do whatever you like and with whatever window you like to you like to do something with. Um, the code, well, you just saw it. There's nothing, there's nothing left. You know, see that it is how many lines are, how many lines is that? 200 lines, including all this white space. Okay, so that means that the, the window thing is uh, pretty much in a state where it's easy to start adding and building on it uh, and removing all these references to handles and things and uh, in the end what we would like is a collection of, of things and I don't even know if those things are going to be called windows at any at some point you know well, maybe we can think of a, of a whole new a whole new way of looking at it I don't know uh, but I don't get any feedback from you guys so um, no, I'll just make it up as they go along. Alright, see you next time.